this is Yeshua said my name. How are you all today? This video will be a warning to church leaders, and this is my opinion, but a warning. Try to plant seeds here for leaders that do not think it is important to warn against the dangers of Freemasonry. There are many that are in low ranks in Freemasonry that I believe do not understand the depth of what they are involved in. There are many high-ranking Freemasons that came to find out the Luciferian uh, roots of Freemasonry later on as they advanced in the degrees. And I know this from having some books from the Lodge and also knowing some former Freemasons and those who have emailed me stating how the Holy Spirit drew them out of Freemasonry. This video is directed to those of you who are leaders in a church. Maybe you're a pastor, you're a teacher, a deacon, whatever you're, whatever God has called you to do. Uh, and maybe you're unfamiliar with Freemasonry. Uh, if you have a church member approach you about Freemasonry, I'm asking you to pay attention and, and pay heed to what he or she may be telling you. I myself have had uh, an experience um, a couple of times in my former church where I approached the leadership about Freemasons infiltrating our church with their doctrines and recruiting other men to be involved, as well as women who are involved in the Order of the Eastern Star, which is the female version of Freemasonry. And I was dismissed and ignored, pretty much just told, don't worry about it, let it go. I totally ignored, totally dismissed. So I found, uh, and I'll put the link down in the description section for you, so you can click on this, uh, this link and see this quote for yourself. But I found this interesting, what this gentleman said about a warning to church leaders about not vetting those who come into the church if they're involved in Freemasonry. Now, I've done many videos on this channel about the roots of Freemasonry, where it began, and the dangers of Freemasonry. Many different videos, especially within the last three months. So if you're new to this channel, a new subscriber, I encourage you to look up those videos and backtrack a little bit. Uh, scripture is clear, he says, concerning the mixing or fellowship of light with darkness. 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 18, Ephesians 5, 10 and 11. Allowing one who willfully or ignorantly swears allegiance to a false god to participate in membership or leadership in a church body, uh, not only short circuits God's protection, and blessing, but will sooner or later result in God's judgment. Perhaps just as troubling is that masonry replicates through its members. It does, and I have personal experience with this. Galatians 5, 9 says, resulting in new converts to masonry and improved working conditions for Satan. Now, I like this man's statement. It's simple and to the point. Satan does not infiltrate looking overtly evil. He infiltrates either with an outward godly appearance dressed as an angel of light or looking like messengers of righteousness in order to infiltrate the body of Christ and then plant the seeds of uh, evil and darkness. And Ephesians 5.11 commands us to expose the deeds of darkness. So, you know, if people say to you, you're being too judgmental, you shouldn't say anything. No, you're commanded by the Holy Spirit to expose the deeds of darkness, Ephesians 5.11. The gentleman goes on to say here, I would suggest that you extract some or all the information I've shared here on this website to use when speaking to the pastor or the leaders. I hope these thoughts help and give you ideas on how to present the case that Freemasonry in all forms is not compatible with biblical Christianity. But he goes on in this article here that he writes uh, as a, a respectful warning to born again Christians and church leaders to be careful by allowing Freemasons, whether they are aware of the evil involved or unaware, to be in leadership positions. If you have not done your homework and you are a pastor, a teacher, a leader of some kind, whether in a women's group, a men's group, whatever your position is, you may have women who are involved in the Order of the Eastern Star in your church. They are involved in female Freemasonry. If you have men serving as deacons, which my former church did and does, or they're in pastor positions, whatever it may be, and they are not being lovingly confronted about what they're involved in and where the roots of Freemasonry come from, you need to start doing so. Uh, like I stated, I have a video on this channel earlier um, where I give my personal testimony about what happened to me when I confronted the leadership in our church. And I had one gentleman who was a former deacon 
speak with me privately a couple of times. And he was in tears about it, literally in tears, because he was telling me that he too was ignored about it. He tried to speak to other men and church leaderships about it, and they ignored him. So he and I developed a little bit of a rapport about this. And he began to go through our churches, our my former church's history with me, and show me how many deacons and leaders were in our church from the founding of the church that were involved in the Freemasonic order and also women involved in the Eastern star. Like I stated, I used to teach classes, adult classes, discipleship training classes in this church. And when I began to do studies on Freemasonry and exposing it, not only did a free high ranking Freemason uh, wander the halls and come into the classrooms, look, you know, classroom looking at me purposely making eye contact, but his wife joined my class. So, you know, they do, some of them do know what they're involved in and they want to know what it is you're trying to expose about them in the church. Satan infiltrates by looking godly. If he can infiltrate from the inside, that's what he wants to do. Okay. And you are not being judgmental for exposing the deeds of darkness, Ephesians 5.11, you're actually obeying the Holy Spirit. So I'm rallying people on this channel, whatever church body you belong to, or if you have family members involved in Freemasonry, lovingly warn them where to speak the truth in love. If you are ignored after you've tried prayerfully to approach people, you've God's given you wisdom on how to approach the subject, you need to shake the dust from your feet. All right, because Jesus warns us that just a little leaven leavens the whole loaf. And if you are unwilling to confront, whether it's occultism or paganism or universalism or Freemasonry creeping into your church, uh, you're called to be a watchman on the wall for that church body. Are you doing your job? One day we will all stand before God and give account before his judgment seat. Uh, his closing thoughts here were, instead of a church going out of its way to change their constitution and accept people attached to masonry into its midst as members, Perhaps it would be good to alert the Masons as to exactly what Masonry is and the spiritual darkness that it represents. And it says here, um, we are to uphold the teachings of the Bible, the very identity of God, the utmost importance and exclusivity of Jesus as the only way. John 14, 6, Masonry must be seen for what it is. It is an enemy of the cross. This is indeed the case, no matter how nice or important, or sincere, any man or woman may be who wants to claim for themselves both the lodge and the church. So in this article, this gentleman goes on to share how you're sitting at, at the in the house of God drinking from the cup of devils. And a little leaven leavens the whole loaf. So you may be thinking, well, you know, th this is no big deal. It's just a, a friendly big boys club. I mean, what harm can come from it? No. Please do your research on this. Like I said, I have testimonies further back on this channel where I provide you evidence from Freemasonic Lodge books, as well as evidence from former Freemasons that have written me. I even did a video of a Freemason that submitted a testimony of how the Lord led him out, and I posted that on this channel. I posted his letter on this channel and put it up for you. So please backtrack from other videos that the Lord has allowed me to make on this subject. You need to confront this if it's in your church. You need to. You're commanded by God to vet the wolves. And if you're not because you're afraid of what people think of you or losing your position, keep in mind, we will all stand before God and give account one day of what we do with what he's given us. Thank you for listening and hopefully more to come soon.